Hello, this is Garth Neustadter with Simple Sam Samples. Today I'd like to go over some tips to help you get the most out of our signature grand piano. At any point you can skip ahead to a specific section by looking at the chapter markers in the description below. The single most important thing for getting Signature Grand to sound its best is to make sure the velocities of your MIDI controller are calibrated correctly to our instrument. Different MIDI controllers output different velocity levels, so even if I apply the same performance pressure across multiple controllers, the resulting velocities can often be dramatically different. In this comparison, I am performing the same music on three different controllers. Unfortunately, there isn't an exact method to calibrate your specific controller to Signature Grand, but we can get pretty close. To start, I suggest that you find a simple classical reference recording that you can compare our Signature Grand to. Choose a simple piece that you already know and try to find a good quality recording of it from a major label. To calibrate Signature Grand to the reference recording, we'll start by choosing the classical default preset since it is the most pure and unprocessed preset on the instrument. Play a few measures on Signature Grand and try to adjust the volume of your reference recording to match the level of Signature Grand as close as possible. Now, under Settings, we'll use the Velocity Offset Control to fine-tune your controller's response to Signature Grand. Listen especially to the attack of your notes compared to the reference recording. If your overall velocities are too high, your recordings can sound thin and a bit digital. If your overall velocities are too low, your recordings might sound dull and lack excitement. Also make sure you compare both soft and louder velocities. You can also use the velocity curve control to adjust your controller's response across the entire MIDI dynamic range from softest to loudest. You can even draw your own custom curve onto the velocity curve graph. In this case, the lowest velocities received from your controller will be reduced slightly, while the highest velocities will be increased. Now that you have your controller calibrated using the settings within Signature Grand, I want to show you one alternate method that has a few advantages. Nearly every digital audio workstation has the ability to adjust and manipulate velocities before they even reach contact. For example, in Cubase, under MIDI modifiers, I can use the velocity shift function to adjust incoming MIDI velocities. I can also apply compression and other processing to the incoming MIDI data. The functionality is similar in other DAWs, such as Logic. When you change presets in Signature Grand, the velocity curve and velocity offset controls occasionally change to accommodate different playing styles. If you use your DAW's velocity controls to calibrate your controller, you won't have to readjust them in Signature Grand every time you switch presets. In the next video, we'll take a more in-depth look at the various presets.